Hello and Assalamu alaikum. I am Afzal Shah and today in this video I am going to discuss how to up write abstract for your research paper, for your thesis or for your dissertation. Uh, abstract is actually a summary which summarizes your whole work, your dissertation of two or three hundred pages. Or you can say that this is a small window to your work. If you have written well, if you have organized the uh, abstract in good manner and you have hook statement to catch the reader, definitely they will read your work otherwise not. That's why writing abstract is a little bit complex and it need high writing skill, high qualified skills uh, to write an abstract. In my starting days when writing when I was writing abstract of my starting paper I was not able how to write the abstract I was thinking that abstract and summary are actually the same things and uh, I was also not able that what we exactly include yeah, in the abstract if if someone who is a researcher and who is not able then what we are going to include in the abstract and what we are going to include in the a summary definitely his writing his research paper or thesis will not be good so to guide the people guide the research uh, researcher the scholar one newly going to write their abstract this video will help you and and to write a good abstract I have divided the abstract into different parts and these part are uh, that for example as we usually write the abstract from 200 to 300 uh, uh, words are 150 to uh, 250 words so this is a very small chunk this is very uh, small part so we are not going to include a paragraph on introduction a paragraph from the literature or a paragraph from the uh, uh, problem statement or from the methodology and from the uh, uh, from the other results statements what we exactly do is that so far a good uh, hook statement we start our abstracts with with a problem and you should write a very good sentence of your problem to attract uh, to hook the readers and after that you can write the little bit background if you for example if you are not going to write the your problem statement at the start and you are going to write the background or the introductions at the start this is also a good actually it depends on the writer it depends on the different type of journals or if you are going to write your thesis or dissertations so it depends on you and uh, 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 the journal uh, uh, or the thing for which you are going to write, uh, going to write actually that are you are going to write the uh, introduction or the background first or the uh, uh, or your problem for example you you are going to write the introduction in the first a little bit introductions and after that to write the problem that what actually you found in the in the literature gap after uh, after reading the literature what did you find to solve what issue did you find and after that according relating to the problem you discuss your objective that what your objective which you are going to achieve after this work and if you have defined your objectives after that you define the methodology that what exactly methodology you are going to adopt to find the problem to find uh, to reach your objective and after the methodology you discuss the your results that how you concluded your results and uh, what these results shows actually and after that you summarize all these works if i little bit uh, summarize it according to my research problem according to my uh, uh, my thesis uh, uh, my thesis abstract then in the first as my research title is optimizing IaaS provider revenue in the cloud computing so in the first I summarize uh, I uh, wrote a little bit about that what is actually the cloud computing and what it does okay after that I little bit tried that uh, limited resources with limited resources it is, it is challenging uh, uh, to provide resources to the massive 
a workloaded customers definitely if your resources are limited and you are handling uh, a massive workloads it will be difficult for everyone to handle these issues and after that i uh, defined my objectives and my objectives are that how to satisfy customer how to satisfy the uh, loaded customers with a limited resources this is my objective this is i aim this is my aim which i am going to achieve after that i discuss the methodology if i am going to get uh, the objectives to satisfy the customers with limited resources for that i am going to hire external resources because when i will hire external resources definitely did this will handle uh, the issues of the resources scalability because due to resources scalability due to limited resources we are not able to handle uh, the issues of SL evaluations and overloaded are sometimes we reject the heavy loaded service level agreement. So after that, I define the simulations that how how I how did I simulate this? I use the cloud sim etc. and and result shows that my work this work is better than the other. This this satisfy the customer. This satisfy the heavy loaded customer and it, it also increase the revenue generations and after that i summarize the work uh, in in a one paragraph or in a few lines that this work this proposed matter is better than the other for more detail i'm giving my own example here and this will uh, give you more about how to write the abstract